Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Late Night Football. Today, we're talking quarterbacks. So many good prospects in this draft class, it's insane. Now, I want to let y'all know, going forward through the rest of the offseason, I'm your guy. I'm an NFL draft sicko. I'm going to be making so many tier rankings for this NFL draft coming up. If you want more content, because it gets boring in the offseason, if you want someone to talk football to for the next five months, I'm your man. Hit that subscribe button below. And my list, guys, a little bit different than most. I got some guys in different places that most don't agree with, but I want to hear your thoughts in the comments, of course. Let's get this thing started. Let's get into the list. To kick this tier list, off we're doing it right Caleb Williams out of USC to put this lightly Caleb Williams has video game arm talent. This guy, when you play Madden, right? Back back when Madden was fun. When you play Madden, like 04 Vic, this is the guy you want on the joystick. He can throw the ball anywhere at any time. And his bailout scramble ability in the backfield, second to none. I mean, this guy's got it all. He's not the fastest, but he's twitchy and he knows how to maneuver the pocket correctly. Just look at these throws. Video game-like throws. I don't know why people are pretending like he's not number one all of a sudden, but he's the one. I think there's about two to three to four prospects in life that just can't bust in the NFL draft, especially at quarterback, because it's really hard to hit on those guys. Like, for example, Andrew Luck, one of those guys. He was going to get it done regardless. He was a special one-of-a-lifetime prospect. That's what we're looking at here. Caleb Williams. Looks like he's going to the Bears. Congratulations, Chicago. God forbid the Chicago Bears finally get some talent, O-line, and a better coaching staff for this young quarterback. It's game. It's wraps. Chicago's going to have a real quarterback on their hands that they haven't had forever, if we're being honest. If you're going to knock Caleb at all, you can say he likes to improv a little bit too much, but that's his game. And for that, I don't care. The dude is fantastic. Once in a lifetime prospect. Chicago, if this one doesn't work out, sell the team, baby. It's time to move on. Love Caleb here as a prospect. He's the only one I have in my God tier. Now let's move on to the elite tier, which I had CJ Stroud in alone last season. Let's kick off this elite tier in the best way possible. The Heisman himself, Jaden Daniels at LSU. Where do I even start with this guy? Amazing pocket presence, the most beautiful deep ball down the field that you've ever seen. Not to mention speed and agility out the gate. He's elusive as hell and you can't get this man on the ground. Jaden is the complete package and I don't know why he's not being ranked higher. I have Jaden in the elite tier, so he's not God tier, so there's limitations, but he's elite tier. I don't think you understand. I put Bryce Young in elite tier last year. The only guy I had in elite last year was CJ Stroud and it's for good reason. Mr. Daniels truly has it all and if you're going to knock him for anything in his game, he doesn't throw with the most anticipation, but that can be fixed in practice and the film room and repetition and muscle memory i'm not too worried about it Jaden is somebody you want on your team to kick off your new franchise with a fired head coach and a brand new gm stepping into office this next prospect y'all knew it was coming drake may at a unc the dude's got it all he's six four stands tall in the pocket and just accurate out of his mind if he has any kind of pocket he will step up and take a hit he does not care and it is on the money almost every single time drake is a passer it's hard to beat man if i could compare his talent to a player so y'all can understand better drake may has cj stroud's touch and timing which i think is cj's strongest attribute and just one hell of an arm i mean deep ball accuracy like you've never seen before this guy's got it all he doesn't like the scramble but he can throw on the run if needed and here's the best part, in my opinion, of course. He's got a little bit of hero ball in him, and I love it. He's got that superhero cape that he'll put on for two, three plays during the season. I'll show him right here. Two of these plays, running to the left, throws the ball with his left hand. He's got a little bit of Josh Allen in him, a little bit of I don't care, I'm going to get it done. You need that kind of dog in your starting quarterback. If my quarterback's going to put it all on the line, you know I am too. I love Drake May. He's a phenomenal prospect, and man, I hope he goes to a good team with a great coach. Now let's transition into the great tier. This is where my list gets a little bit different from the others. I want to break it down for you guys. Let's get into it. To kick this list off, I got Bo Nix out of Oregon. I know, the dude's older. We've been hearing his name forever. So Bo Nix is high on this list. Now, Cade, what is he good at? Let me tell you. I would argue out of majority of these guys, Bo Nix the most NFL ready. This guy has been through it all to every school, to every conference it seems like. And with that, he can process and dissect the game quicker. And of course, for him, the game slows down. Another factor we got is the dude's mobile. He can get it done for sure. He's not quite Jaden Daniels mobile. Man, he can get moving. My knocks and questions are sometimes decision-making and then sometimes accuracy. Besides that, Bo has got plenty of arm talent to get in the NFL and do his thing. I truly think the right coach and Bo Nix can take the league by storm, and I'm looking forward to it. Now let's move on to my next prospect in the great tier. Stepping up to the plate, we've had a privilege to watch this man play a very long time this year. You know who I'm talking about. Michael Penix Jr. out of Washington. Let's break his game down. Before I dive into this, I'm going to say there's a little bit of recency bias here. 
We watched him play in the Natty Champ, and he didn't look great. But man, let me show you right here. Let me show you some of these clips. He had pressure in his face all day long. It was ridiculous. How do you throw in this kind of scenario? I don't blame him for the game he had, and he made some pretty good throws regardless. This just shows you can't do it all by yourself. Yes, he made a mistake here and there, but the dude's in the arena. He's battling. I'm not too worried about that game. But let's move on to his strengths and what makes his game so great. Michael Penix Jr. is a gunslinger. I mean, this man's got insane arm talent. Most of these scouts question his accuracy. I don't. I think he's got plenty of it to get it done. I think they're just tearing him down because of the game he had. And most importantly, his deep ball accuracy is out of this world. The dude puts it on the money. If you give this man an O-line and just one good receiver, he's going to cook. I mean, cook the NFL. He's got all the talent you need to get it done. If you're going to knock his game, it's for anything he really can't control. He's been hurt multiple times. So as a franchise, that can be alarming when you want to bring someone in to be the face of the franchise for a long, long time. I get it. But Michael can't control that. And for what he can't control, he does it great and at a high level that will succeed in the NFL. Guys, it's time for tier shift. In this next one, a player that you've been waiting for, you're like, Cade, where is this guy? I got him right here. Let me explain why. Okay, I have good reason. JJ McCarthy out of U of M. Let's chop this up and bring it all back together. Let me tell you why I have him ranked here. One and the most important factor overall, why I just can't put JJ in the great tier. I hate Michigan. Nah, I'm just kidding. Let's break this thing down. We have seen select plays all year, right? Where he shows elite deep accuracy, amazing arm talent, power, mobility, decision making. The dude has got a resume, but all of these flashes of greatness were pieced together through 15 to 20 attempts a game. He hasn't had to put the team on his back like he will in the NFL. And that is something I have concern over. As he defines this tier list, flashes of greatness, that's what he is, man. We see flashes where he looks like a true NFL stud QB, but he hasn't had it all in his shoulders yet. And that time will come and we will know when it happens, maybe his first year, second year that it finally all clicks. With the correct coaching staff and talent surrounding this guy, JJ is gonna cook in the NFL. He just gotta go to the right spot. Now let's wrap this puppy up with my final players. The one player I got holding down this tier list, you haven't heard his name in a long time, but he's got serious talent. Spencer Rattler out of Southern Carolina. Spencer's game is arm talent and improv, and man, is he good at it. Also to mention, this dude is mobile enough to get out of the pocket and make a play if needed. The only question I had was Rattler's accuracy was rarely put on display. Like a lot of his touchdowns this year, were 50-50 balls and dig routes where the guy caught it and took off for another 60-70 yards. And yes, you have to be accurate 40 yards downfield, but a 50-50 ball, a jump ball, isn't always up to the quarterback and your accuracy. You know what I mean? You just gotta put it in the general area. Some NFL franchises get to see Rattler and think, he's got great arm talent, improbability. I can make something happen here, and I hope he does. Last on the 1.0 QB draft tier list, I got Joe Milton out of Tennessee. This quarterback, I'm gonna keep it short and sweet. He's got a cannon for an arm. I mean, a true cannon this guy can sling it 60 50 70 as far as you want he could probably hit the goal post from the other goal post if he wanted to it's got a rocket arm and it's put on display all the time everything else kind of a question but my answer here is he's going to the senior bowl these coaches at the senior bowl will put him in scenarios and drills where they'll find out if his other attributes are truly there or not but he's got the tools to develop and that's why i have him in this tier list guys what do you think did you hate it what would you change going forward because we got five months to the draft drop all your comments below on what you would change in this tier list who would move where thank you guys so much for watching for all nfl draft content i'm a sicko i will be posting tier lists from now until the day before the draft follow and subscribe for more content like this Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you more than you know. Love you all. Have a great day. Peace. Didn't really shock us. So, uh, Kate, take it away. Guys, without a doubt, we know one thing is true. Texic. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I got to cut this. I got to. Or are they? <laughs> Texas is back, baby.